So in a situation where you might fall, trip, end up on your back, and the suspect's trying to advance on you, trying to attack you, one thing you can do uh, to get yourself into a better spot is first thing you do is never lay flat on your back. You always want to get on your side. Take one foot. You know, put that foot right in his hip. Protect your face. That way, if he tries to throw punches, you at least have something to create some distance and cover your face. Okay. Um, whichever foot is closest to you, you want to grab the back of that heel. Okay. So if it's on this side, that bottom arm, you can grab the heel on that side. With that other foot, you're going to hook that foot right on the back of their heel. So back of your heel to the back of their heel. And then from here, you're going to push with that foot on your hip. And you're going to secure these two, these two grips right on the back of his heels to make sure that he can't step back and get around you. So you push, he's going to come down. As soon as he comes down, fall right back to that technical stand. Okay? In a situation where he's, he's up, and then that other foot might be a little closer, so that foot's farther back, and then this foot's a little closer, you're not going to try and reach around and grab here. So what you do is just whatever foot is closer, you're going to grab with that hand. That foot's going to grab back here, and now instead of the back of your heel on the front of on the back of his heel, it's going to be the top of your foot hooking the back of his heel. Same thing, push. Okay. So normally with these, we're trying to grab that wrist to help us pull up, but in our situation, we're really not going to have time. We really want to get this guy on his back as quick as possible because he's trying to hurt us. So here, front of the foot on the back of his heel, grab the back of that heel, pinky on the mat, push. Technical stand up. Go to go to your taser, or you can advance, get on top, go to the umbrella.